What's up people, back again with some Gundam Battle Operations 2 and today we are going to be talking about GPO-1 and uh, builds for GPO-1 well, as you can see, diving straight into it not nothing too special but the main thing is the level 3 overheat and the level 1 overheat make it 20% meaning that you can just keep boosting around like dodge rolling like overheat like the recovery is faster than pretty much everybody else they're not running this so as you know like Gundam GPO-1 if you didn't know actually is actually a frontliner suit and being able to dodge roll and recover faster than your enemy just allows you to put more pressure on them and this guy has high melee priority so he can battle it out with the raids the GPO2s and the Gabara Touches can't test this suit like this is the suit to kill your supports with you know what I mean your supports call for backup and there's the Gabara that's your shit that's your job to go there and just wreck that fool and like with this build you know he's not gonna out dodge roll you you always want to be on top of him putting pressure on him so it's a rip for the Gabaras and the GPO2s um now the GPO3 if you have to relate the both I say this this suit is the best suit right but this suit is the all round suit it does everything but it's not like it's not the best at melee like the uh, GPO one is, so that's why the GPO one is better for frontlining and sorting out the supports. G Gundam GPO one can do all of that, but he's not the best for it. But he's the best at everything else. Meaning, why he has a folding bazooka, which is meta. He has follow up from range with the Stamen beam rifle. He has the Probably the best downswing in the game, but that's why it's medium strength, right? It's medium priority. If it was high priority, it'd have been OP. Like it would have made uh, GPU one pretty much useless, right? No one would even use that suit. But that's why GPU one has that, and GPU three doesn't. So as you can mm. see, look at the build, right? You can do bit statement like you can do some pretty insane stuff with it you don't need to be like frontlining with this suit so yeah, I would, I would say you don't need the overheats with this suit because he can zip in out out of there with his downswing and all that stuff you know like he can he can move right so you don't need to worry about the overheats with him because he's not trying to hold the front line he's more trying to pick at it and like get come at different angles and throw people off with his speed he's obviously got force injectors level 2 so that that's what makes him way more better than GPO-1 because everything that he does he can put more damage down from range he can do the same thing from close range but he just doesn't have the priority right and GPO-1 as you're going to see in his video like he has he has his stuff and like you have to use him a certain way and the front in the front line is perfect for him and then peeling for the supports you know stand your ground basically I'm gonna dive right into it now you can see look look at my OBE Look how fast that, that comes back. You can just see like that, that stuff comes in handy when you're in the front line. Like people won't expect you to have your your energy back, your thrusters back, so they'll try and melee you and you like counter them. So I don't I think I don't think I show it in this video, but you can do that stuff. So, as you see there, I'm using the flight program to 
get over here without actually break uh having to recover after like dropping on the ground so you boost right before you about to touch the ground and it kind of cancels out you go straight into walking uh i just realized this was my friend and like uh, you hear me later on in the video but like, oh that's uh sets on the j but i was like yo what is he doing over here <laughs> But, yeah, take him out. As you can see, like he is damn, he had no chance. No chance. This dude can one v one, pretty good. Like he can one v one the GPO three. Like I said, the bazooka versus a beam rifle. It's harder for the GPO one, you know what I'm saying? And that's the thing is about about this suit. Like when I first got it, like that's the thing to was to get used to was literally the beam rifle. As soon as I got used to that and the time of it and everything and how long it reloads and all that, it's a good suit, man. And I watch this. Roberto Tetra comes in. Nah, what are you talking about? Like. That happened because his melee animation takes longer than mine. His downswing, because he kind of like pulls back, and I'm already like, get the hell out of here with the dance, like, because he, like, you see how like quick the downswing comes out. It comes from the bottom, then from the top down, in it. That is way quicker than the Gabaras, so you can just be like, get the hell out of here, bro. You're gonna do the downswing. Like the GPO one's downswing is probably the far comes out the fastest. I feel like that's why that's why he's like he's that suit to get rid of those guys, man. GPO GPO two probably have like a better time, as in like his his downswing animation doesn't take that long to come out, so they'll probably clash more often. But the Kabara has to time and stuff, like, and he has to be like, he has to space his uh, downswing against the GPO one. But as I say, like, if, if they do it and they do it correctly, they're both just gonna clash, you know, and like, you know, maybe like, you know, the, the Kabara has to charge his beam rifle, right, to get the sun off. GPO one just shoot you, bop bop, give you the two hit combo. And that's it. That's <laughs> a wrap. Chasing the Gabara again. Like you can see my like Like what can you do, Gabara? Uh, friend, I think my friend is a bit sorry there, like down swing. <laughs> oh, I didn't say sorry. Now what's this right here? Flight control program. Dash before you land. Straight into the counter. Get out of here, Gabara. That's how you use that flight program. You understand? Know One of these, I'm just front line. I don't even care like, if it's kind. I was like, just dancing everybody. Ah, go crazy. But I should have timed uh, my swing there. Like, I probably would have got the stun on them. So. Uh, my mistake, but well. Just going a bit crazy with the GPU one, man. Like, this is the suit to go crazy. If you, if you take, if you, if you mad at people, or you just want to like, just get out of here with some shit, like you know, like, like you know, the downswing just feels like, like just, you know, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> like, I'm the melee king around here, man. And they finally got me. But yeah, GPU one. Like, he's a good suit. Uh, I know I'm not taking that from him. But GPO3 is the best. Hey, I feel like even GPO3 is the best in space. But that's for another video to talk about. Probably don't have time here. But yeah, GPO1. Definitely the second best on the ground. I mean, there's not many 550s out there anyway. But yeah, he's definitely... Definitely does his job correct. 
and he does it the best. He does it even better than G, uh, GPO 3, so just keep that in mind. If you know, like, maybe, like, you know, there's a couple of Gabaras on the t on the team. Like, maybe, you know, you play custom, and they've got Gabara on the team. You're playing GPO uh, 3, and they're kind of messing you up. But the dance man, you're tired of it. Pick up GPO 1. Like, can't do nothing no more now. <laughs> GPO one with this annoy this annoys everybody like he just doesn't care. <laughs> what is James? And obviously he's got tankier defenses than GPO three. GPO three has got higher melee, uh melee anti melee, but that's alright. Like his uh you know his range is this ballistic and this beam is 18, which is probably not the best at this cost. It's alright. But like he's got the force and jets, you know, man. He's more like a hit, that's on it. He's more like a hit and run suit, you know. Stick and move suit. Like analogy would be he is uh, GPO3 is a Hamadali and GPO1 is Mike Tyson, right? <laughs> That's basically how it goes. Now what's this? It's just like, it hits my shield. <laughs> it doesn't stun me. I was like, yo, that's funny. Yeah. By the way, like, Kabaris, run, everything has to, like, respect the GPO 1 in the front line, man. Even the GPO 3, like, you know. GPO 3 has to stick and move against the GPO 1. And like obviously he uses meta bazooka, folding bazooka, you know? That's the meta, right? So it's easier to use the GPO 3 with that. So. But GPO 1 is still godlike. I'm gonna get to it. <laughs> you see the damage I did right here, you know? GPO1 is still good, guys. But don't get to see it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I love this series over, man. Don't watch, don't watch that yet, bro. I hope you liked the video anyway. Like and subscribe. Awesome. And I'll check you in the next one. Peace! Yeah, some bucks.